you ever see people when you're walking around who look different? Maybe they're taller, maybe they're shorter, maybe they're skinny, maybe they're really muscly, maybe their skin's darker, maybe their skin's lighter, maybe they're different than you. It's wonderful to meet different people. We can learn a lot from different people. Sometimes, however, we might feel different and we might not like it. Well, it's okay to be different. It's okay to celebrate that we are different, no matter what our difference is. Today, we're gonna to read a story called The Proudest Color. This was written by our friends, Sheila Mordier and Jeff Cashew. And it was illustrated by our friend, Monica Mackay. Let's read it. The Proudest Color. I am like a box of crayons, bright and colorful. I see and feel in color. When I am happy, I feel a rush of razzle-dazzle pink in my hands. When I am mad, I feel sparks of bright red spread across my cheeks. When I am sad, I feel a deep blue in my eyes. When I am nervous, I, I feel a vivid purple in my stomach. When I am proud, I feel a beautiful brown in my heart. But for me, brown is more than feeling proud. It's the color I see when I see me. It's the color that people see when I come into a room, get on the bus, or go to the store. It's the color on my arms, my toes, and my face. The night before my first day of school, my mom tucks me into bed and kisses my forehead. She says, Zara, you felt many different colors today, but your beautiful brown skin is here to stay. All those feelings come and go, but your brown skin glows and glows. I press my arm against my mom's, and I like seeing the difference and similarities in the shades of brown. On my first day of school, I feel razzle-dazzle pink happy and vivid purple nervous when my mom drops me off. But the people here are not like my box of crayons. They might have colorful feelings inside, but I am the only one who is brown on the outside. I stare at my brown arms and remember my mom's words, my brown skin glows and glows. I feel a rush of brown pride in my chest and march into my classroom, radiating sunshine, yellow confidence. At recess, my classmate Zoe presses her arm against mine, wrinkles her nose and says, you're so dark. I don't like brown. Everyone laughs. I stare at our arms and feel many colors swirl inside me. I feel bright red anger in my cheeks and deep blue sadness in my eyes. But I don't feel brown pride inside my chest. In that moment, I wish I wasn't brown on the outside. At dinner, I tell my parents what happened at school. My mom and papa tell me there are people who can be mean when they see my beautiful brown skin because it is different from their skin. But we want you to remember all the people who share your brown skin and all the important things they have done in this world. Brown is the color of your abuela who loves to hug and kiss you. It is the color of your old school principal who high-fived the students as you walk down the hallway. It is the color of your doctor who helps you feel better when you are sick. It is the color of Martin Luther King Jr who inspired America with his dream of equality. It is the color of Mah Malala, who bravely stands up for all girls to be able to go to school. It is the color of Cesar Chavez, 
who help workers have safe and fair places to work. It is the color of former President Barack Obama, who helped keep our country safe and strong. It is the color of Kamala Harris, who was the first woman to become vice president of our country and said that she wouldn't be the last. It is the color of Frida Kahlo, who boldly painted her culture and brought attention to female artists like you. All these people have beautiful brown skin like yours. As they tell me about each of these brown and beautiful people, I feel a rush of razzle-dazzle pink spread in my hands. Even though I might be the only kid with brown skin in school, I am part of a very special box of crayons. This box is full of amazing people from all around the world and all throughout history who are brown like me. No matter what Zoe says, my brown skin is important and it's a color that makes a big difference in the world. It's the color that I am and I will make a difference in the world. I see brown all over my skin. I feel brown fill my heart. I feel proud. <laughs> well, we hope you liked The Proudest Color, written by Sheila Modir and Jeff Keshu and illustrated by Mona Mackay, published by Familias. <laughs>